Hi, I'm Ben from Double O One Tech. Uh, I'm here to just show off my uh, low RPM uh, three phase generator. Here you can see I've got uh, a single generator cell um, and it's just connected up to uh, a wind turbine design I got off Thingiverse. Um, it's only got one cell in at the moment and it's got two of the magnetic rotor plates. Um, I've got an extra ball bearing at the top so I can hold it um, and uh, allow the design to spin. It's just a nice way of holding it. Uh, I, I am going to have a bracket eventually that comes and connects to the top of the cell uh, so you can screw it to a wall and get it nice and secure. And then obviously the, the holes through the cell itself, uh, through the rotor plate, uh, allow you to bolt on additional cells directly underneath so you can have um, a whole stack of them to generate uh, a voltage or a current that you need for your system. Um, rather than take this cell apart, I'm going to show you some of the earlier cells that I used. Uh, here is the the version 1 cell, uh, so here's the rotor plate, you can see here the the actual p pieces of plastic that hold the the coils is actually fixed to the rotor plate here. Um, it was quite good uh, in that you didn't have to glue anything um, but actually winding the coils was quite difficult um, and you can see there's a there's a huge gap in the middle there um, you can't really print it out in one print because the top layer doesn't come out far enough to cover the coils nicely um, so you can get bigger coils which was a bit of a problem so in version 2 I moved to the removable coil approach here you can see uh, we've got a to play it with the ball bearing glued in the center and then there's two uh, removable coils that have been glued on. Uh, this design was, was alright uh, but I wanted to make the coils a bit bigger and also you can see it's, it's quite hard to glue these nice and straight so I wanted something that would be a bit easier to line up. Um, here you can see these are the earlier uh, magnet discs. Um, the new ones are exactly the same but obviously for much bigger magnets. Um, and then to build the generator up here we have a section of 8mm threaded rod. So we place one of the uh, magnet brackets onto the threaded rod. It's quite a, it's quite a tight fit but it does, does turn. Um, then we add uh, a couple of washers, it's just standard 8mm washers. Then the rotor plate slides on. Uh, then we've got a couple more washers. Then the, the second uh, magnetic bracket. This one seems to be a bit tighter. There we go. You notice that if I turn the top, bracket, the bottom one turns with it, um, the magnetic force just, just keeps them lined up quite nicely. Um, you might want to check that the alignment stays true uh, once you tighten the top the top bolt. Uh, an additional washer here uh, couldn't hurt. Um, and here you are, there's a, a nice, um, can hold that, a nice working uh, cell. Obviously this, this version 2 design wasn't good enough to light up the LED um, but here on the version 3 uh, we've got a nice uh, glowing LED um, which I'll show you um, on the oscilloscope. So I'll just uh, connect my scope wires. Uh, so here we've got the, the, the version 3 cell uh, hooked up to the uh, oscilloscope on my PC. You see that as I start to turn it at, at a lower frequency, I get quite a nice um, voltage showing on the on the uh, oscilloscope. This is just a single phase, so obviously a three-phase design. You would be looking um, at 
peaks and troughs um, equidistant along the three phases uh, to give you quite a nice uh, DC value. I start this running again, um, now I can get it up to about 4 volts peak to peak uh, at roughly uh, 3 hertz. Um, you can see there I'm getting about that's about 16 hertz which is as there's eight magnets that's about two cycles a second and then as I as I carry on up in the free the the speed of the generator I get a nice good solid two volts peak to peak that's at about uh, 19 hertz which divided by eight is is, is a bit less than three revs a second. Uh, you can also see that my LED is, is lighting up quite nicely on the single phase um, so that the, the, the single uh, sweep voltage is, is enough to make the LED light uh, which is a good sign uh, for starting off embedded projects. Okay, many thanks for viewing.